Hello, welcome back to the next episode of our Hearts of Iron playthrough. With hello, Lincoln. hello, hello. Um, so last time we talked about uh, changing division templates and uh, your logistics, and you can actually see what I was talking about by all my divisions here in Guderian's army. See how they all lost their regular status and they're now just trained because the division size increased. But there was a support division added. And that and caused new soldiers. New soldiers, and that means I'm just gonna press the shift exercise button to just train up all those new soldiers in this army. Yeah, what I think what I think is very important to note is like your division have lack of equipment. Uh, it's not a big deal. Sounds strange. It's not a big deal. So soldiers can still fight without equipment, but the the, the big deal usually is is they die faster. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's uh, not good. They're <laughs> obviously less efficient, but um, that's why I always choose, especially early game, to have like one or two factories into basic infantry equipment. So I will never run out of equipment, and there's always soldiers with uh, weapons. Mm -hmm. But obviously, with like support equipment, it's uh, a little bit harder. But your divisions can still fight when they're like low on equipment. Yes. And uh, what, what was the other thing I wanted to mention as well? Um, no, I've forgotten it now. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, no. Um, exactly. So there, as you see this army down here, it has six divisions that are going to be attacking the southern part of Poland right now. And um, I wanted to increase this army a little bit. So I'm... The training new divisions, and when you press this little gray button here, you can assign the these units directly to an army already. So I can click here on the order or on the leader portrait to assign deployment. So I can just click on here, and now you see that this little button changed color to the color of the army. That means that as soon as these units are done training, or as soon as you deploy them with this uh, deploy the instant deployment button, they will join this order and this army. So you don't have to manually assign them. Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial election. Okay. I finished my interwar. Artillery research, and I'm actually going to start researching more infantry equipment based researches here. There we go. And fuel gain from refineries is definitely something that I need. I don't really know what to do with my. Rheinmetall industrial complex production cost production efficiency gain also not terrible soft attack hard attack and air attack for anti-tank and anti-air which i don't have yet it's another thing i need to research though because the germans had a lot of anti-tank weapons in their army like every div infantry division had anti-tank weapons yeah uh, like packs yeah, I remember that the I once read that the the small pack, it, what's it called again? Pack thirty eight or, or thirty eight was also used as a uh, infantry weapon. So it's just very easy and fast to deploy, and you could like shoot at a house or uh, yeah, any kind of uh, fortification. Yeah, yeah, apparently very efficient. Okay, so how is this? Okay, so they're attacking down. Here. I'm going to attack with this tank unit across the river, which is not ideal, but they have some huge equipment problems here already, I think. Oh, look at that! There's a nice pocket here. <laughs> How did that happen? Did they do hey, a naval invasion? Uh, I, I, I completely missed this, but this must have been a naval invasion. Yeah, they must have naval invaded <laughs> here. That's amazing. Yeah. Good on them! <laughs> oh, right. 
since I upgraded this. That's why they probably have some supply issues here too, because they lost their supply hub. Oh no, they haven't, but they have lost all connection to the capital with it. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. I'm gonna build one more infantry division to fill up this army. Yeah, I'm gonna need Rommel back before like uh, 1939, though. So hopefully yeah. we'll win this war by then. Yeah, we should. And I wish I could get my one tank division from Ethiopia back too. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. So I've got pacify Ethiopia. Still a hundred and what not days left. So. So interestingly, the Danish trade deal is still going on. I wonder when they're gonna cancel it. Yeah, wh what are the big bonuses from it? It's actually quite nice. So, but, uh, I get this, it, it, I get it this kind national of spirit and it gives uh, non-combat out of supply penalties negative 5%. Consumer good factories for 10%. Supply efficiency plus 5% and supply combat penalties on core territory minus 5%. No, but your consumer goods, that, that is an increase, right? Is it? Yeah, I think so. Mm. It's not minus. Yeah, so you, you lose civilian factories from this deal, though. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. But I don't think it makes such a big difference at all. <laughs> Mifo bills gives me negative 33%. But there are a lot of divisions sitting in this province here, right next to the airfield. Oh, speaking of which, my airplanes are doing something. This, they should be here. Helping out. Because that way I get another, I should get an air superiority bonus. Ah, military police is done. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it for one sec and just going to quickly show this um, division design. So usually, I take my cavalry brigade and I duplicate it, and I remove the artillery, and I'm going to replace the recon with military police, and then I just add one cavalry attachment to it. Should be enough, right? Combat with 10? I it think it's too big. You think this is too big? Yeah, yeah, I think it's too big. So, for example, for me in uh, Ethiopia, yeah, it really depends. I, th I think it's too big. I think it's too big. I think four is is good, and once you upgrade um, um, military police further, I think uh, four is even too much. You can go through three, but it really depends on the status of the uh, compliance and and resistance as well. Yeah, I mean, I can always modify it later. So this is my basic layout, and I just save this. And then what you have to do is you have to go click on your flag, go to Occupy Territories, and at the top left you have a Territory Management button here, and you have to select that division you just created. Oh, also Military Governor is not ideal, right? Uh, so I want Local Police Force, or... I think usually Local Police Force is the best balance. But in, I mean, if I'm playing uh, <laughs> Germany, I... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I probably have to do brutal oppression. <laughs> well, it really depends per region, and that's what you can do as well. So I once, uh, of, well, my grandfather told me that when Germany occupied Holland, at first it was very relaxed. He said in the first 
one or two years, you barely felt that it was uh, an occupation. Mm -hmm. And the further it got into the war, especially in 1943, 44, and 45, it uh, went from uh, a quite normal occupation to really harsh. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what you do with, with your thing as well. If you, for example, occupy France, you could first choose, like, okay, let's do quite relaxed, build up some compliance, and well, if the French resist too much, you can go to really harsh things. Yeah, so you kind of do it uh, as, as as it's going, I guess. Eh? Yeah. All right, so we're getting very close to 1938. Oh, are my mountaineers in multiple def oh, they're not. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow. Almost straight, up, almost straight up here, Rommel. Sorry, what were you saying? My my uh, planes are very efficiently bombing uh, enemy divisions. A little bit above expectation, really. Okay. For my Naval Academy, I like to take signals training. And yeah, I mean, I could try to do refit yards, but I currently uh, don't have any shipyards free. Oh wow, I actually have enough um, construction or civilian factories to produce a fourth production line of just one factory. <laughs> it's going to be quite slow, but it's good for repairs and stuff. Uh, oh, you stopped importing from me. Oh, don't need my chromium anymore. So I did that a long time ago, I think. Oh, I'm actually gonna stop in one import of chromium as well. Oh. Hold on, Yugoslavia requests sale of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserve have been set aside to cover the purchase. The commission is traveling around Europe to look for new resources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, Yugoslavia has insisted on immediate delivery or transfer of planes directly from the producer. So what I can actually do is sale of bombers. So I'm um, since I have a lot of these really old sh shitty tactical bombers. Yeah, that's 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 also what I just did. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give them and it's gonna it's gonna decrease my consumer goods factor by well, fifteen percent for hundred and Yeah, so I'm i I'm gonna check. So I'm at eight consumer goods now, so can you check how, how much is yours? Yeah, and then they're on pause. Oh, you still got it on on, uh, on pause. Oh, I just pressed. Uh, here. <laughs> let's let's be, multiplayer the space bar doesn't work. Okay, let's pause it again and see what happened. For me, nothing happened. For me, nothing happened either. Oh, it's so disappointing. Oh. <laughs> okay, army innovations. Now I gotta do Anschluss. January. 70 days is uh, two it's months in a little bit early, bit. isn't it? It has to be in March. But, uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. No, I want to be just historical, so I gotta do naval dockyards first. 35 days. <laughs> yeah, but then you'll be too late. Uh, yeah, okay, can't, did, can't do it perfect, I guess. <laughs> I wish, in a sense, I wish if you did historical, that uh, a lot of focuses are locked on dates. So, for example, in this case, that you would not be able to do it before uh, the actual event, or or too much before, or if yeah, you could do it like so research, so it would take a little longer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Could yeah, this could be a good one as well. So that you have like, if it's on the first of March. 
that uh, oh, wow. 70 days before the 1st of March you can start uh, the focus. Or well, maybe mm -hmm. 80. A little bit of wiggling room. Oh no! Rommel is not gonna be trained up by the end of this war. Oh, he's still a few days away. He's still a little bit away here. Damn it. <laughs> they are crumbling. They are crumbling. Okay, so... I can actually spend some... Mo on mobile warfare doctrine here. Holy shit. So I have to strengthen the military. I have to go to 750,000 manpower. <laughs> that is double my uh, army in 300 of 348 days. Oh, wow. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. So, okay, we're going to choose Erwin Rommel here because that's what we just unlocked. Bam. More division attack and more division de armor division defense. That's a huge. Yeah, so my uh, law, government, research and production and military staff is filling up quite nicely here. I'm uh, quite happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see here. Are the British? Oh, the British have really increased the gateway to Europe yet. Okay, so I can kind of hold back on that. But this fight has been going on for a long time. Jesus. Well, as long as uh, Rommel is gaining experience from it, I'm happy. Slowly but surely. But it's not going to be enough. I mean. They're almost their uh, capital is almost surrounded as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got empty civilian factories. Nice. So I will actually start building a few dockyards and what else what else do I need? I guess Airfields here around Poland are looking pretty good. Um, I guess military factories is a good call as well. I'm going to add a couple military factories to the queue. Oh, never mind. I should really increase my... Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. While I have Schacht, I, I should increase my infrastructure the territories where I'm producing resources because that's especially here look at that one infrastructure gives me another eight steel here oh, that's a lot of infrastructure I need to build okay let's put these because this should be quite quick because I get another tinder sent from Schacht while uh, while he's around here yeah let's do that <laughs> Direct ground support. Going to increase our ground bombing ability with this doctrine, definitely. <laughs> the war is over and I'm still doing this one battle here. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, man. This battle has been going on for so long. But that's actually great because that way I will get my, back my like um, some tank units, my uh, essentially my army. Mm, how am I looking for infantry? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna build some more infantry divisions because Rommel needs an army too. Oh, what did I do here? I selected, oh, I selected the wrong signal symbol. And we call this army group. Uh, there we go. Come on, Rommel. You could win this fight before this war is over. I believe in you. Even with huge river crossing malices. 
<laughs> That's not going very well for him. So I've got this one focus here that says Anglo-Italian agreements. Average compliance Ethiopia more than 40%. War escalation decreases by one, but I don't see any war. Do they mean the world tension? Yeah, so that war is already over, so... Oh, Japan actually created the most world tension so far, but that's gonna change in a few days when Anschluss happens. <laughs> Anschluss creates a lot of world tension, I remember, right? Like 11 or something like that, it was quite a bit. Rubber processing, perfect, okay. Um... What else did I want to do? What else do I need to do? Submarines are fine. Hmm. Medium tanks I could research. Oh right, I have to do pack. Pack is one is one thing I have to do historically. There we go, we'll do that right away. The Yellow River blown and Spain has been annexed. Boom! Beautiful. At least the civil uh, war has progressed in our favor. Yes, it has. Francisco Franco! A last-ditch attempt to hold the oncoming might of the Japanese forces, the network of dikes and flood defenses along the Yellow River were destroyed by the Chinese army. Good luck defeating your capital, Nanning. You guys can do it. Like, I'm glad that the, I'm getting my <laughs> troops back from Spain before Ethiopia. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Oh, definitely gonna reduce the fuel usage of my fleet. That seems like a very good idea. Just gonna check here. My armies are all trained up. That looks pretty good. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is quite annoying. But I mean, as soon as I go to war, I'll get those divisions back, right? It's because you can't have divisions while you, uh, volunteers while you're fighting an active war, I think. That is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but war is far away anyway. And uh, I think my pacify uh, Ethiopia is over in 123 days, and I think that's also the end of the war. Ah, okay. Okay. Why do I have supply issues in, in France? I have a, I'm standing on a supply hub and I have supply issues, really? What if I click upgrade ball? Actually, what I can do... How many trucks do I have? Ah, negative 24, so it's not terrible. What if I just change this to trucks? It's gonna take a little a bit. Made it a little bit better. But these are only level one railways, that is also the issue, I guess. Okay. Rommel is back and he's gonna be called Army. 
Gruppe A. There we go. And he's going to be trying to push through the center. And we're going to select the spearhead. And we're going to draw a line right to the front of Warsaw. Yeah, and here's a nice veteran. Uh, actually, his mountain mountaineers are not going to be that useful for him. I think those are going to go down here in this army. They're going to be much more useful down here fighting in the mountains. Alright. All right. I don't have much going on right now at all, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, same here. Do you want to speed it up uh, a bit? Yeah, you can speed it up to three if you want. Yeah, let's see until uh, until interesting. I mean, fast forward to Anschluss, I guess, and then I got some stuff to do. Yay! Nationals victory in the Spanish Civil War! An excellent outcome! Yes, we have completed it successfully. It was quite quick, too. Mm -hmm. Still have huge deficit of support equipment. <laughs> Get to see me. Oh, nice. Two fresh panzer divisions for Rommel. Get those trained up. Okay, I'm gonna have to slow it down in two days. And then I'm just gonna quickly do my Anschluss organization. So currently I have 34 Military and 70 civilian. Okay, now the Anschluss is done. Wait, let's see. And let's wait until it happens. Because the really nice thing about that focus is that it actually cores all of these territories for me. Yeah. So I get all the benefits without any malices. I can do, uh, have all the resources, I get all the... Hey, wait a minute. Come on, how long is it going to take? There it is. Repeated uprising in Austria clearly show how the people there long to be united with our Reich. It is now time to take action, allow them... Allow the will of the people to be manifest. Okay, so yeah, I get core on all of the territories. Ah, uh, and now Denmark cancels the trade agreement, okay, because they didn't like this. I get a lot of political power as well. Uh, stability, war support, base stability even. And I can use no. Austrian gold to reduce the cost of MIFO bills. Okay, because yeah. uh, currently MIFO bills are costing me 0 0.8 political power. And when I click this... No, they're only costing me 0 0.5 political power, so it's nice, that's nice. Um, so the next thing I need to do, uh, so Dietenland is in October, so I can do one more in between, right? So I guess I could do... Yeah, maybe a naval effort as well, or treaty with the USSR. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's either research Eastern claims, so I can get down to Danzig. Or a probably treaty with the USSR so I can start producing tanks. Yeah. Yeah, let's do a treaty with the USSR. I think th that I need to do that too as a prerequisite anyway. Okay, now I get a lot of really... Sh I'm just going to disband all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and just create my own, right? Yeah. I do think that the, the Mountaineers are a pretty good unit though. Template is pretty good, usually. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's it's not better than mine, I think. 
Let me let me let me compare mine. Mm, Gebirgsbrigade. So yeah, it's up there. Ah, it's exactly the same. It's almost I, the same. Yeah. I always thought the the Austrians had like very different ones with artillery and. I'm not sure. Maybe they changed that. Yeah, but they have like, a, like this infantry division that I have pretty much the same one, like a light infantry yeah. division. That's where I actually took the idea for making up this pawn because I really liked the idea of the Austrians had there. Okay, this infantry division is in schnelle division is even worse. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just gonna retrain this. So what I'm gonna just do is select all of these troops and delete them. It's 72,000 manpower, 88,000 infantry equipment, and 280 support equipment. Boop. No. Hi, and then uh, I just gonna, I'm gonna go to my division manager and just delete these divisions, so not clog up my division manager. And then I should have less equipment problems, but still terrible equipment problems for support equipment. But I had what did I say? Yeah, so I got. About five military factories and uh, 17 civilian factories, which is nice. Okay, so now, look at that. That's amazing. Okay, so we're going to slowly build up our infantry support equipment and artillery efficiency. I'm going to increase my construction of light tanks as well. And what did I need Guderian here? Okay, so I'm pretty good. The question of Yugoslavia. Uh, following the return of Austria to the Reich, we now have shared border with Yugoslavia. The government of Prince Paul has been fairly quiet about their stance on our proposed reordering of Europe. Perhaps we should remind them that the time will come when they must make a choice. Uh, yeah, I never really understood what this does, though. Me neither. I think their opinion is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh look at that! I got a hundred percent intel network in Poland. So we're gonna prepare a collaboration government in Poland. Bam. Okay, some more light divisions. I'm gonna send those down on the Yugoslavian border. Okay, I need one, two, <laughs> ah. So let's actually check here. So the Allies have gotten l a lot bigger with France now joining. Pretty much all of Africa is now Allies. All of Oceania and some of it is still independence. I think the Philippines and uh, Dutch East Indies. Mm. How's, how's, how's the war going for the... Japanese. Not 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 great. Mm, I'm gonna start researching. What am I gonna start researching? I should think about airplane production as well. I think the BF one oh nine actually had drop tanks. Or increased range. Something I need to probably think about researching as well. Um, with a treaty with the USR, I gain... What do I gain? I gain a basic chassis. Okay, but I still need to research it, right? I think so, yes. Create a very medium... Okay, okay. 
sorry, it says create Panzer III Ausführung A, medium tank variant, gaining technology, basic medium tank chassis. On gaining, yeah, so I do need to research it first. Okay, so that means I'm going to research that right now. I think Germany started building those tanks in like 1939 or something. Panzer IVs. And who actually built that? Was that MAN? I don't know. No, no idea. I have no idea either. I chose MAN now, but I know Porsche designed the Tiger. I'm, I mean, designing a um, new destroyer. Give me a second. Sure, go for it. So this time I waited a long time for. Um, for I, I so what I used to do sometimes as well is that I would I like, have like a level one depth charge and then I would already make a variant and this time I chose to wait as long as I could. So now it has like a, a level two. Uh, sonar and a level 2 depth charger before I uh, created the first version of this ship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my destroyers are definitely going to not be that great. <laughs> mm. uh, what is this? Hard attack? No, I don't need hard attack on my infantry weapons. I need soft attack and breakthrough. Yes, please. Thank you. Don't forget to update my production line. I mean, I could just convert the equipment now. Yeah, my uh, my misclick at <laughs> last episode with that Panzer division, ugh, that yeah. hurt a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot my how how are my fighters doing? Did they did they return? For oh yeah, they just came back, didn't they? What the hell is this? Ooh, Swiss oper operative captured. Very nice. Oh, really? Nice. Why are the Swiss? What the hell is going on? What is going on? Oh, my planes are down here in... Uh... Oh, because I have... Oh, because I have air volunteers. I'm allowed to dock, um, be on your... On your, <laughs> on your airfields. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, no, it's not oh. good. I want to come home. Pact of Steel. Yeah, I don't do that yet. Okay. Oh, these guys can't train. These guys can possibly train up. Maintenance company. Okay, and then what was the other one I really needed was logistics. Okay. I'm going to increase the trade here with the Dutch. Just keep on rem remembering to click that every once in a while so the British don't get in the upper hand. And we're going to finally set up Guderian as our Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg theorist. Okay, I'll quickly need to pause. So like this, I'll go to the market, so. Oh, actually I got a huge research bonus here for my mobile doctrine, so we can definitely increase that. Oh, and then we're already coming down. The next one will be Blitzkrieg. Nice. Nice. That enables the tactic Blitz that they are more likely to use, which could be key. Wait, 
Let me. There we go. We have a huge deficit of tanks right now, but that's okay. We'll add one more. And trucks as well. Do you, need, do you still need infantry equipment? Because I got a lot now. Uh, well... <laughs> I, I got a small uh, surplus, but uh, I will need a lot more in a, in some time. Okay. Because I'm back up to 137 a day now. Yeah, so if you could put maybe some on the market, that, that I would definitely buy that. Okay, sure. So let's uh, sell equipment, add equipment to market. Let's select infantry equipment and... Uh, oh, I got... Oh, that's why I got all these... Austrian guns. Nice. How many do you want? Uh, maybe put the uh, how many? How many you have in stockpile? Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Maybe five thousand. And because I like you, and uh, you invited me for some nice pizza in Italy when I was visiting, I'm gonna make the price oh, lower. That's that's so good. Right? Ah, wholesome dictatorships. All of them, 25 deliveries, 13 delivery. Yeah, okay. So I will do this. So this year everything will be delivered. Oh, if I, in December already. Excellent. Oh, that's actually perfect timing. So my all my my ra my ra road upgrades are gonna be finished, and uh, oh look at that! I actually don't have to import rubber anymore. Awesome! Because I am now producing a lot of rubber myself, and uh, my resource production in general is gonna be quite nice because all my Infrastructure is going to be upgraded here. Look at all this light green infrastructure everywhere. Oh. Excellent. Hmm. Well, since there's not too much going on, do you want to end the episode on here, or want to wait until this uh, next focus is done? What do you What are you planning? Let me uh, think about that. Yeah, maybe wait until the focus is done. Yeah, that's a good call. All right. Um, I don't really know. I, I th radar. I think the Germans had radar as well. Get radar. Nice, and my pack's gonna be done soon, so then I actually have some anti tank weapons and. I but I need medium cannon, right? What is what is medium cannon? Oh here, when you upgrade to artillery two you get the medium cannon, which I need I guess for the Panzer four. Yeah. Okay, so that's some research I gotta do soon as well. Oh no wait, I I get the variant just given to me, right? So all I have to research <laughs> is the chassis. Yeah. I think so, yeah, you're right. And then I get a one-time 200 research bonus for armor technology and two times 100% research bonus for armor technology. Can slow it down? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you, Dan uh, thank you very much. So yeah, they changed I, uh, the focus quite a bit.
Okay, I just had like uh Oh wait, I thought Oops, oh I just accidentally redesigned. No, oh, you gotta stay here. My training oh, ship. Yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, good. Sorry, what? What's going oh, on? Oh, I just, uh, I just deployed twenty-four divisions. Nice. And uh, yeah, so now, okay, this goes to six. This also goes to six, like once, and you also once. Okay, so now I am lacking two and a half thousand weapons. Well, you should, you should um, get some delivered here soon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's actually, also like I can actually uh, see that somewhere, right? Uh... Oh, the payment has not been delivered. Okay. Yeah. But... So it's the next delivery is sixteen days. So. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just quit the episode here and just continue in the next episode. Sure. Yeah. Thanks very sure. much for thank thank you very much for watching guys and girls. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.